If you watch many of my videos, you know it's no secret that BMW is at the top of the stack when it comes to in-car connectivity, app support, and basically putting CE on four wheels. Let me show you what's new in iDrive 4.2, the newest version, and some other connected technologies that go with it. All right, now the basic iDrive interface is not changed. You recognize this one from the recent couple of years. That'll be the same. But you're going to see, they say, much finer rendering thanks to new graphics horsepower they're putting in here, more hard drive space, things of that nature. So evolutionary upgrades. On top of that, I've told you before, but not yet shown you this guy. This is the 4G adapter. It docks here in a smartphone cradle that is in the console. And what this does, with a carrier yet to be named, by the way, so I can't tell you who it is, it's got a SIM card here. You set up an account for this device in particular. Now it's taking advantage of shore power in the car to run, as well as hooking up to an external cellular antenna to get better reception in. And then it turns that 4G into a hotspot here in the car to power things like your iPad on this pretty slick BMW mount here behind the seat. They've also adopted four new apps that are now supported inside of BMW's iDrive system. Glimpse for location sharing, Audible for audio books, Rhapsody, a well-known subscription music service, and TuneIn, which is also a music service, but not about music cuts. It's about radio stations. There's already been web radio in BMW's iDrive system for a few years. This will now be a parallel system. When you enter the car with TuneIn, it'll automatically transfer its connectivity and playback into the head unit as you enter the vehicle. So a seamless experience with TuneIn in and out of the car. And one last thing coming in iDrive 4.2 that you'll see in the newer BMWs is the cheater's nightmare, the ability to pair two phones at once. So you and your wife's phone can be paired at the same time, and it merges the phone book. So your contacts are all there together in one scroll, but you can see where that could go left for some people. Now, new voice command power is coming as well in the new iDrive. In fact, it's already started in a few of their models. It lets you do much more natural language. So when you want to navigate somewhere, you can just say, navigate me to or something like that as opposed to the exact phrase you have to use in the earlier systems you can still blurt out the address in one phrase 350 hudson avenue new york city new york there's also a much more sophisticated dictation ability in partnership with your smartphone you can dictate more advanced emails or text even edit them by voice because they're using dragon voice technology that is partly cloud-based to actually make sense of what you're saying but native commands on the iDrive system, those are still processed and handled on board in the car, so you don't need a connection to make that stuff work. Not really part of iDrive, but related because it's LCD technology, is a coming option that's in Europe now that would allow you to option up an all LCD instrument panel. That's pretty slick because it allows you to change the kinds of information you've got and the way it's presented. You can emphasize one gauge over the other. It might change colors in sport mode. It might drop a gauge or two out of there that aren't essential at the moment. So that'll be coming as well.